In this example, we are going to build a small box made with C-shaped profiles, light seal framing profiles. So we have at the left side of the screen the side view of that box, and we have the front view of that box. Now, to create this box, we are going to start in TriCalc by creating a new structure. We are going to call it box B1. And to create this box, we are going to define the work plan at level zero. So the bottom of the box, let's define it at level zero. To create a new frame, we are going to define frame here in the functions for light seal framing, the 22 module of TriCalc. Uh, we have here the rectangular panel, all the dimensions will be inserted in millimeters. And for creation of this panel, we are going to use this profile, the C-shaped with 100, 100 millimeters height, 45 millimeters base, and 1.5 millimeter thickness. We are going to, um, and we are not going to attach this frame to the base, and we are going to define this frame um, with the length that is here defined. The lengths can be defined here, like this way. Uh, when we're going to define the external dimension to the axis of each internal profile, or we can, can change that rule and all dimensions are calculated from uh, face to face uh, of each profile. For this example, we are going to use this option. And for the total length, we have here 1300 millimeters. And for the dimensions, we have here the dimension that we can enter here. So the dimension between faces, it will be 100 millimeters, the first dimension between faces. The 4, 8, uh, 4, uh, 480 uh, millimeters between face to face. And now face to face for the second measurement, 575. And the last one is here written, it's 145 because that 100 is 100 to the face plus the 45 from the base of the profile. So we have here all the dimensions horizontally. Now for vertical, we are going to just to use one height for divisions, just one division uh, of heights, and the total height is 1170 as in the dimension. So we have here that element. Now, this bottom part, it's, uh, as we can see here, it has uh, 1100, 1100 millimeters. And this one is 1170 millimeters. So there's a difference of 70 millimeters difference. So we are going to the left top corner, um, superior left corner. We are going to displace it vertically minus 70 millimeters. So we have here that panel created, just missing the diagonals. So we are going to the following, the next step. In this step, we are going to uh, define if you want to change any orientation of the C profiles. We can see them here, the orientation that they have, and we can change it if we, if we want to. Uh, also, for the horizontal elements, we can say, uh, change if you want sim simple double profile, what to, what to, what type of situation we are going to configure here. Now, for the creation of diagonals, we are going to insert diagonals in these two spacings. So we are going to insert here with diagonals. I'm going to insert one diagonal in each spacing and uh, they are correct in the, um, the orientation. If they were not, you can change them here, change the orientation of the diagonal. Also, where do we want to attach them? We want to attach them to the beam, horizontal and inclined beam here. So it is like that, but if you want to change and uh, let's say uh, attach it to the wall, see here in this position, now it is to, to the vertical post, the vertical profile. So we have here that change made or to the base or to the top in the base or in the top of the profile, the same options. Again, you can change the direction of the profile. So you have here the opening for the profile on top. I don't want it. I want to change that. So I can select the diagonal that I want and I want now can change the orientation of the profile. Let's place it to the other side. The other profile here, it's okay. It's with the, the back to the top. Okay. Let's use this uh, configuration for this model. Now, for the last step, we are going to make the insertion point where do we want to insert this uh, panel. So I'm going to select here the insertion point. I'm going to place it here, for instance, in this other corner to see the difference. And now insert it in a vertical plane. So the plane is a plane zero. So I just need to define the first uh, point of insertion 
and afterwards I just need to place the direction where do I want to, to insert it. I'm uh, For support I'm using the grid line. We, we can set up here the grid line for um, Trikalk. I'm going to place here for instance a 5 50 centimeters uh, with the mouse uh, attached, the mouse snap to 10 centimeters, draw lines. So activate it. So this is the, the grid line. So we can uh, select any point from the grid line with the right mouse button. The left mouse button selects elements, the right mouse button selects any point from the grid that's closer to the mouse, uh, according if you have snap activated or not. So that uh, panel is created. I'm going to save this panel. Let's say it, it is a side view, side panel. I'm going to export it to a file here, and I'm going to save it in my desktop uh, called, let's say, uh, database uh, LSF. Okay. So I've created a file where I save this profile, this, uh, this frame. Now I want to create the front panel. Well, the front panel, it's this one. It has 997 of uh, length and it works between two side panels. So I'm going to create here uh, a new panel. Geometry, light frame, define a new frame. The difference of this frame is that the, um, the length is 997. The height now it's 110. Uh, I just have a regular number of spans, just two spans on horizontal. And uh, on vertical, just to have one span. Um, in this case, I don't have uh, any uh, inclined beams, so I'm going to remove this, this dimension. And now for uh, the, the diagonals, I don't have any diagonals, so I select all elements in diagonals and without diagonals. So I have here the panel created. Now I want to insert it, so I'm going to select I'm going to select here the point of insertion. Let's select, for instance, this side here. And now I'm going to uh, insert in a vertical plane also. And I want to insert it here. For the direction, I can insert in any direction, so I'm going to insert in this direction. Now I want to insert another panel just like that one over there. So I can use copy paste or I can create a new panel. So in this case, I can create define a frame. I can uh, import from database the panel that I have saved. Here it is. Okay. Otherwise, I could also make this when defining the frame. I could capture all the data from that panel, select it, and I have an equal panel as the one I created before. I'm going to insert in a vertical plane. The difference is that, okay, no difference. This is the a good point for insertion. So I'm going to insert a vertical plane and the insertion point could be that vertex over there. Okay, and direction. Now, to use a different operation, I will, I will use uh, copy-paste. I will copy this one to that position. Copy, select the element or elements. If you want, if you don't have any more elements to select, you can uh, press escape key. Now you can set up the insertion point. I'm going to use for inser insertion point, that point over there, that vertex. And now the direction, if I want to set up any direction for insertion. In this case, I don't want any direction. Direction will be pressed escape key. Direction will be nice if I would then paste and rotate. Okay, But in this case, I'll just paste. Paste the, the panel, same position here. Well, there is a small difference between panels because this one is the, low, the lower one and this one is a higher one. So there is a difference between them. I'm going to activate the rendering so we can see better. Uh, and there is a difference in height, so I can modify my original panel, modify frame, and correct the length. If I know the correct uh, the correct height, I can change it here. If I don't know what the value, I can just measure it using the double arrow icon. One point, two points, that will give me the height that I want. Okay, I have here the total distance, the projection in any uh, of the axes, so you can measure it in a different, um, from the two points we have selected, what dimension do you want to recover here? So you can change it here, you can give any other uh, edit if, if you want to. So now I'm going to uh, insert, uh, finalize, the, finish this uh, change, and so the change is made here. Okay. Now, uh, if I want to, um, to insert a, a base element here, 
I can do it the same way. Let's say I'm going to define a frame. Uh, I'm going to just do, to do a very simple one. I'm going to create, for instance, the measurements of the length. I can use two points to define the length of this panel from one point to the other. And also the other dimension from one point to the other side. Okay. So I have both dimensions defined here. I just need to insert, in this case, in a horizontal plane. The insertion point, it will be that one. Okay. So I'm going to insert in a horizontal plane, place the point of insertion, the direction of the panel. So I'm going to select this vertex over here. Okay. And for dropping the panel, I'm going to drop the panel in this direction. For instance, this point is okay to define this direction. So for these points, I always use the left mouse button because it's the um, the one that allows you to select uh, elements. Uh, now I see that uh, I've uh, um, misplaced my measurements. Uh, I've measured the, the the height and uh, um, the height and the length was uh, wrong. In the I, I put it in the wrong places, so the height is changed with the length. So this one should be in the other place. Uh, no problem. I can just do this, replace here the the values, okay, and it will be okay. See, or I'm going just to undo this error. Okay, it's again in the same situation, and now I'm going to use a different function to correct uh, these adjustments. It is called adjust junction between panels. So I can just select this point of interest, this, this situation. This is my wall. This is a vertical frame and this is the horizontal slab. I'm going to adjust. The number one is the wall and the number two is the frame. Okay, and it has just that dimension. Now, the number one is the wall, the number two, the frame. So it has corrected that dimension the same, the same way uh, I did before. Now, I want, just want to align that central element, that central profile with the existing ones on the sides. So you can use here the move element, move the center of this element to the center of this profile. So here it is. It is aligned. Okay. Uh, if you want to do the top of the box, uh, the same procedure is, uh, in, you can take the, that in place just to define the frame. The same frame, for instance, all the same values. The difference is that you are going to insert it in an inclined plane. In an inclined plane, we are going to select which is the, um, the point of insert, insertion here, for instance, this corner here, and the direction that it will take. So I'm going to select for direction, for instance, this corner here. Again, I have not changed the, um, I haven't changed the, um, the length, so the lengths are again wrong. So now I have two points, so I can place my uh, top of uh, my lead of this box here uh, in that alignment. Now I just need to select another point to define where does it go, the, the inclination of that point. So I'm going to create this point here. It's okay for defining that inclination. Okay. So I have here that uh, panel. Okay. The length are not okay because I, I because I have uh, here the besides the, the lengths are different because different because now this panel is to the exterior of the the walls and not from the interior, so the, all the lengths are not okay. We didn't even spend any time thinking about that. So we are going to adjust junction between panels. Same uh, situation. Let's say the the one that will be continuous it will be the the slab and the two will be the wall. Now in this case the slab is number one to the wall. Okay. Now to the other side, first is the slab, then the wall. So we have here now a box, and again, if you want to, to correct any of the alignments of the elements, you just need to use the um, move element uh, operation, and it will allow you to move element and allow you to align the center, for instance, of this element with that position. The center, okay, that's the only one that was displaced. Okay, so we have it. A small box made with LSF framings, profiles, in this case, C-shaped profiles.